Hi everyone, George DeCosta from The Hunting Griff. Today I'm going to go over my first aid kit um, with you. And I, what I've done is just taken everything out of my kit. I'm going to put it back and as I put it back, I'll tell you what I have and what I use it for. I got to tell you, I've used my first aid kit many more times on other people's dogs than I have on mine. But these dogs were literally, they will literally kill themselves for you out in the field. So it's our job to make sure we have stuff to take care of them. At least that's my opinion. So I'm just gonna go over real quick what I have. You can write it down and make a kit yourself. Um, and I'll try to tell you things that I have and why I have them. So glasses, I keep some glasses in there cause I can't see real well. So if I got to work on a puppy, I wanna make sure I always have glasses with me. I keep, um, flea comb and a stripper. So if I have to clean around the area to dress a wound, I have these tools to clean up around the area. I also carry a little battery operated beard trimmer in case I have to shave around the area. Um, with long haired dogs, sometimes you want to get some of the hair out of there. So I carry this to shave around the area to tr treat a wound or an abrasion. Um, so if I do have a dog that's cut themselves pretty well, or even a small cut, a few things that I carry. One is I carry Vetrosyn Pink Eye Spray. Pink Eye means nothing. It's just the stronger solution. A lot of ranchers use this. I use it to flush the wound out and clean it. So I will flush it out really well with this, and then I'll use some gauze to just tap it and dry it out. So um, this is what I use to flush and clean a wound out is the Vetrosyn Pink Eye. Now, if I'm out and I'm hunting and it's a small cut and we want to keep hunting the dog, I like to use this stuff here called, I think it's called Cordora, no, Corona ointment. Yeah, I can't dye my glasses. This is really thick. So if I have a small cut, clean it out, dry it out, I'll just put this right over the cut. It's real thick and we can continue hunting the dog. If I am done for the day, the best results I've had in wound care, and I got away from um, hydrogen peroxide before, because a lot of people say it's not that great, but I'll tell you, I have found that it has done really well with my dogs and other animals. If I'm done for the day, I will flush it out, make sure it's all cleaned out. Then I'll pour some hydrogen peroxide on it, dry it off, and then I'll take Neosporum, which is what my vet recommends, and just put it right over the wound and leave it like that. And I'll do that twice a day, flush it, Clean it with the hydrogen peroxide and neosporum, and that really seems to do the best for me for helping cuts and abrasions heal up. Um, I carry um, ear cleaner so I can flush an ear out, um, get down there and flush it out real well. Put a lot down there. You can feel a dog's ear actually down at the base feels just like this part of your hand, and just swish it around and flush it again and swish it around. And then I use gauze, so do vets to put a little gauze down there to dry it out. Um, obviously, I also use gauze to put over wounds to keep them clean when I'm dealing with the wound, so I carry gauze. Um, I carry Vet Wrap or Coflex, two sizes for me. This stuff is stretchy and it's really great. If you take care of a wound, dress a wound, wound put some gauze over it, then you can just wrap this around it. You can wrap it around the whole body, around the leg, whatever, and it's flexible, it works really well. Um, to take care of wounds. And what I'll do after I put this on is I'll either use medical tape, um, but I don't use this much anymore. I like using electrical tape. I'll dress the wound, put the gauze on, put the vet wrap on it, then I'll take some electrical tape and just go up and down on it, electrical tape. Um, and it's flexible. I don't put it on real hard. I just put it on lightly and it'll flex with the dog. Very easy to cut off too. It's not messy when you cut it off. And speaking of cutting it off, I like to use this type of scissors right here. They've got a little, little I don't know, flat spot here. You can get under the tape and under the vet uh, wrap to cut, um, to cut it off when you're changing the dressing. So I use or carry um, eye wash, obviously, um, to flush out an eye if you think there's something in there. If you can't get it out with the eye wash or eye flush, what I use, and this is just saving solution, is I use a Q-tip. I'll just pull down the eye, touch the item, and pull it out. And I've done this for lots of dogs, mine and others, to get stuff out while they're hunting. So you can see I carry a lot because I usually or give, I'm giving stuff away. I carry a few different hemostats in my in my kit. Um, this one here is a sponge hemostat, and you can see it's got a round end. At least I hope you can. It's amazing how far and how wide a dog's ear can, can spread. So if I've got a foxtail and I want to try to get, I'll go into the dog's ear, grab it like that, pull it out. 
This does not go down and puncture anything in an ear. Um, small hemostats I carry, I get ticks off with this, I might grab a foxtail. And this one's to get down on the dog's nose. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you carrying this one. I've, I've used it, but very rarely. But anyhow, I have it. I carry a thermometer. The reason I carry a thermometer is because if a dog's acting funny, I always want to know what the dog's temperature is. So I think it's a great tool to have. Also, a couple items that I carry is um, two types of blood clotting agents, just a big one and little packets. Um, again, if you have a, a, a wound that's bleeding a lot, it's good to stop the bleeding with these two items. These little packets, I can give one to somebody. There's a Band-Aid and alcohol wrap in here. That's just for me. Um, I carry some gloves, latex, whatever type of gloves you want, so that you can keep the area sterile if you're dealing with an open wound or cut or a brazen. Um, Mustard Secret I keep in there just because I use it on my dog's paws if they're tender or to, to help them out um, from getting getting messed up so don't use it a lot but this is a big one I just happen to have one inside of here I have a couple other items super glue and everybody knows or most people know that a lot of EMTs will use super glue you get a small cut clean it out dry it off with the with the gauze let it dry air dry put just a little bit of super glue in and hold it for a little while and it and it will seal the wound and sometimes that's all you'll need I carry a multi-tool, obviously it gives me a lot of things, a knife, little scissors, things of that nature, and tweezers in case I just want to grab something with a pair of tweezers. I carry zip ties. I can do a lot of things with zip ties. You can make a muzzle out of them, you can make a collar out of them, you can do a splint with them. Uh, I use the same thing with my uh, vet wrap, um, my Coflex, so I'll use that for a muzzle and for, for a, a splint, things of that nature. I also carry a stapler. I buy the pack that has a stapler and a remover in it so that I have uh, an item to remove the staples later on if I need to. And I've used this a few times. If you can get to a vet, that's the best thing to do always. But if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you've got an open cut that you need to take care of, I will staple it. It works pretty well. I also carry an otoscope so I can look down an ear of a dog if I think there's something inside of there. That's just something I carry. Um, and. That's it for my big pack. This stays with me in the car. However, when I'm out in the field, I carry a small pack with me. And I'll just go through that real quickly. I carry a whistle, because I want to make sure I always have a whistle with me. My dogs listen to the whistle. Um, I carry some gauze, super glue, Q-tips, Coflex or vet wrap, small sponge hemostat and a small regular hemostat. Neosporin, electrical tape, and a small multi-tool. I have this in the field with me at all times, so if there's something I need to address in the field, I've got, it, I've got it there to use it. And then when I get back to the car or in the evening and I need to do something more major, I have this kit with me. It's your job to take care of your dog. They'll give their hat out for you. They'll work as hard as they can for you. They'll be cut and they won't stop. So I carry this so that we, t we have the tools to help take care of our dogs. I hope that made sense and you got something out of it. Thanks for watching.